you know, try try to um, try try to think about something. You mentioned curriculum, and I want to come back to that. Um, you know, you you in particular bring a specific uh, academic skill to our group. Uh, uh, in this, I don't think any of us here are PhDs. Uh, in in that sense, we know PhDs. We know, no doubt. Well, we know this one. Yeah. Uh, but no, no. We we in our group, you're our only PhD. Uh, I will be. You will. Be. Well, you are now, spirit. Um, your mind is now. You, I guess you'll be validated soon. But you already think like a scholar in that sense. So you, you're there for us. Um, the 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 reason I mention this though is because uh, that does give the Temple of Hip Hop. Uh, uh, a, 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 another kind of authority, and I'll tell you, and it's a delicate thing I'm saying, I'll say it in this way. We don't derive authority from no one else but ourselves. Mm -hmm. okay. You are also a hip-hop scholar. Like, you'll get your PhD from the university and, you know, and, and that'll be, you'll be the man at that point <laughs> uh, with, your, with your doctorate. But you will also have a certificate from me that will make you an official hip hop scholar. Mm -hmm. So when you're in front of other scholars that have PhDs on hip hop, mm -hmm. you'll rise just a little above that mm -hmm. because you'll be able to say, but wait, I actually took the apprenticeship mm -hmm. with hip hop's only master teacher. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's no other teachers mm -hmm. but me. Africa Bambada named me the master teacher for hip hop, period. That's it. I give you that. I give you all that. But I will give you that. So not only do you teach from your, your academic professional point of view, and I have a degree to prove it, which is excellent. Yeah. Because in terms of the, the, the validity of our online teaching, we derive the validation and authority only from ourselves. That's it. We are the government of hip-hop. We are its body. That's it. There's no one else above us. This, this is it. But we do look for authority. We respect authorities. He's getting a PhD. Just because you have a PhD in one... Now, you're getting your PhD. Like you're saying your dissertation is on hip-hop. That's slightly different. Let's say like a Michael Eric Dyson who has a PhD in African-American studies. Mm -hmm. That don't make you a scholar of hip-hop. Mm -hmm. You know, because you have a degree in one area, it doesn't make you a scholar in our area. Have you actually gone through right. the apprenticeship? Right. Have you actually learned from a real hip hop teacher? Sorry, you know, and not real in, in that sense, but um, you know, a a, a, a legendary, um, a, a worldwide known, uh, a, 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 right. a practicing, a practicing hip hop teacher. Well, you can say that the others are practicing as well, uh, but I'm just saying in terms of the authority of your teaching. When you cite my name, you know there's nobody coming after that. Then you cite Africa Bambada, uh, Grandmaster Flash, and Cool Herc. These are our authorities, and these are the people who are hoping we get it right. Mm -hmm. By the way, Herc is hoping <laughs> right, we get it right. You know, Herc is sitting there hoping. You know, so so again, come back to online teaching. You substand Mac Macadocious, uh, the Big Mac. Uh, substantiates our teaching of hip hop. Mm. Because not only him, the, the temple has other uh, affiliates, associates. A woman named Dr. Priya Palmer. She teaches it at, no, no, she teaches at Brooklyn College. Um, she wrote a whole book on KRS. Her dissertation was on KRS. Oh, yeah. was the, yeah. uh, what, was, what was it called? Uh, Knowledge, Knowledge Reign Supreme. Supreme. That was the name of the That was the name of her book. Her dissertation and book. All right. Wow. Is it out? Yeah. Was it out? Uh, right. Who, yeah. who wrote the one that was called the uh, the uh, the the uh, the pedagogy? Her. That, that was That's her? it. No, but you remember when she first gave us her dissertation? That's what that was the pedagog a hip hop pedagogy That's something. Right. Pedagogy. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But That's when true. she eventually made a book on it called Knowledge Reigns Supreme, and did a whole book on KRS and put it out. Oh, now, get that. Yeah, she. This is a great book, but it's it's talked in his language. Yeah, yeah. It's total Scholars, academic yeah, yeah, yeah. scholar book. 
Like, which is cool, but at the same time, right. and this is what I'm mean. now bringing it over here now. There's arguments that nobody can understand. Right. The only thing I can understand in the whole book was you were talking about yourself and this story part. My mom moved the chicken bone from my throat. Right. Right. Fix my feet so I could walk. No doubt. That's what I'm saying. I have a question. Teach sure. me like a five-year-old, like kindergarten. Cool. What is Africa? Africa Babara? Africa Babara. Africa Babara was one of the. Back in the late 60s, early 70s, he was a gang member. He was part of the Black Spades, and he saw a vision. And he went to Africa mm -hmm. and won a scholarship for writing a good essay at high school. They sent him to Africa as, a, as, a, as an award. He came back with a vision to unite all the gangs in the, in the Bronx. And oh, in but New he was City. a gangster. Yeah, he was a yeah. gang member, but yeah. he came back with a vision. Like, we have a power that we got to take advantage of, an opportunity to resolve this whole, you know, Turn gang the bad island. Mm -hmm. And he just started the Good Hulu Nation, and it was incredible because so people just really started started believing mm -hmm. in, in positive All the streets. gangs, all, all, all the gangs, and that's correct, all the gangs in New York, Africa, Bam, he did a, a miraculous, he should get a Nobel Peace Is Prize. Is he living? Oh, yeah. Yeah. He he changed his persona when he went to his name was Kevin Donovan. Right. And when he went to Africa he, he learned about his heritage and he gained uh, a great amount of respect for what his heritage stood for that he didn't understand back as a young kid, as a gang member. So then he changed his name to Africa Bambada and he's the one that started hip hop on the foundation of peace, unity, love and having fun. Mm -hmm. November 12th. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two scholars.